Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Aishwarya from Digital to Design. In this video, I will show you how to send bulk WhatsApp messages to your customers. Okay, let's get started. Open up your browser and go to the site which is pingbox.io. I added this website link in this video description. Okay, this is a pingbox dashboard. Now, I quickly introduce you to all the components in the ping box. So, this is what we refer to as the left, the left side navigation controller and this is going to be your brand's phone number. Currently, when you sign up for the first time, you will see a number here and by clicking on that, you should be able to actually change the phone number. Now, this is actually going to be the first step in your process of creating your own WhatsApp API. Now, let's come to actual WhatsApp. So here, once you have connected with your branded WhatsApp, this will act as your company's shared WhatsApp ping box. The first step that we need to do is to create a template. Now, you cannot send random messages to your customers, but your customers can always reach back to you. So now, when your customer sends a WhatsApp message to your branded number from their WhatsApp, it will directly reach here and these are actually like the messages sent by your customers. Yeah, now let's go to see how you can actually send a message to your customer. For that, we have something called as WhatsApp template. Now, WhatsApp template is a predefined WhatsApp message and this message has to be approved by WhatsApp before we are able to send it to the WhatsApp. Creating a new template, all you need to do is just name of the template. Example, Diwali sales announcement. And that's your template's name. And you can choose from any of these languages, I choose English here. And I can choose whether this is a text only or a text and image. This is so, I'm just choosing text and images. Here, you need to type a message. And then if you need to, you can add any buttons. Now, this will come here as pending approval. As you can see, lot of other templates are already approved the same way. Approval takes some time. In most cases, this approval time takes up to 1 to 2 weeks. For my WhatsApp API account, this approval will happen within minutes. This approval time varies from account to account. Once it is approved, you are ready to start sending messages to your customers. Now, we learn how to create WhatsApp templates. Next step, we need to import customers. Now, go to the Import Customers tab. Here, you can be able to create a new list of customers. You can choose from an existing list or upload a bulk list using the CSV upload feature. For that, you need to download a sample CSV file and fill in the details in the given format. So that may not get any errors while uploading. You can just add as many numbers as you want. I will show you how to upload it. Once you are ready with the CSV files, click on the Upload CSV Files button and wait until the process is complete. Once done, click on the Start Importing button and wait till the process is complete. And don't refresh this page. Once you import it, come to the Customers list. You can see a filter list here and you can filter by your listings. So, actually added it. You can remove these customers from any list you want. Here, you can add a staff role like owner, marketer and leader. Now, you can come to this screen. You can see a screen called broadcast. In the broadcast, you can see the Diwali sales list is there. Now, you can initiate a mass message to all these customers. Click it, it will open a pop-up. 
this is an image template you can select. This template uploads an image. You can upload a sample image and just hit send. For now, I'm just setting up one small text message and I'll show you how it's working. Yeah, this is sent and eventually you can see the report also here. Now, when you come back to the retargeting, you can see actually like multiple tabs. Here also, you can see the audience count is this. And the second cons and it's already started. It is actually just dummy data, so don't worry about this. You can just click on these numbers and immediately you can start sending. Now, when you come to the dashboard, you can see all these details like how many percent of your messages are getting read and what percentage of them is getting delivered. This is how you can see bulk messages via ping box to your customers without getting banned. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital 2 Design. Stay tuned. Love you guys and thanks for watching.